What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome oh, back to me. another episode of how this began. Now tell me why. Black Ops 3 tell Nightmares. Demos if I'm dead. Your body is dead. But your mind remains alive. I'm connected through your direct neural interface in your subconscious. To save humanity, you must open the portal. With your body gone, the only way to do this is to train your mind. Train my mind. Relive the events preceding your loss. Only then can you alter them, change them. <laughs> this... Now this is insane. Let me show you. Think back to when you first met Taylor. Here we go, guys. All right, that first... The first mission was super trippy. We'll see, uh... See what happens here in the second Zombies Campaign mission. It's called New World. Think back to 2065. You're on a train in Switzerland. I'm heading toward downtown Zurich. On Taylor? That's him. Commander John Taylor. The first dead killer. The definition of determination. I was a rookie then fresh blood there weren't many of us there were more rumors about our division than actual recruits they said we were engineered to be immune to 6115 that we couldn't get infected this was your first mission yes five years after the outbreak most cities had at least one containment zone but zurich managed to stay outbreak free now someone wanted to change that Wait, this, this, this feels wrong. This can't be right. This, this can't be real. How are you doing this? I am not doing anything. This is your mind. I'm the passenger. You're the pilot. But tell me, do you remember the train exploding? No! Stop! Make it stop! Dr. Salim, what's happening? What's going on? You must be calm. This is your memory, and you dictate the truth. But your mind can play tricks on you. It can deceive you, and it can lie. This never happened, but it nearly did. You and Taylor stopped it. How can I see something that never happened? What the hell am I seeing? And why does it feel so damn real? The human mind is fragile, easily swayed by an incorrect recounting of events. This was one outcome your mind feared. Start from the beginning and take me through the mission. Once we organize everything correctly, we'll be able to find the truth. Tell me about the raid. The raid? The raid. Interesting. There was a Qatardis terrorist collective. They were planning something big. But they knew we were coming. Stop. Don't rush through. Let us start with who was with you. You were not alone, after all. Taylor. He told me they'd received a tip about the Qatardists. These undead sympathizers had sprung up around the globe in the years following the outbreak. They believed the undead were the next step in human evolution. To become undead was to live. The dead should inherit the Earth. <laughs> Crazy, right? Was it only Taylor? Was there anyone else? Sebastian Diaz. The man we saw at Coalescence, who would disable the undead defenses. And back then, he was Taylor's second in command. He would take point on the raid. Hostile encounters were expected with the undead, but that didn't seem to bother him. They were so relaxed. The dead threatened Zurich. They were fearless. Didn't take away our own fears. If I was gonna learn my shit, it would be on the job. This mission was my training. For him, it was just another day in the life. Business as usual. And business was booming. Right, here we go, boys. Got all kinds of zombies coming up. Whoa, 
explosive zombie. Very lifelike. Uh, look how many different outfits and stuff they have. I love it. All right, we need to find a weapon. I think we just found one. Ah, oh, I missed the feed, man. I would like something more than. Uh... What is this? Oh, super fast movement. That's pretty cool. What are these drops I keep seeing? I saw them in Coalescence too. It is your mind trying to help you through your memories. Weapons, abilities, powers. Use them or don't, but they may offer you a temporary advantage. Ooh. Where did the What's take this camoed one over here? We still have to get to the factory entrance. The shot is auto shotty? No, it's not. Semi auto shoddy. Oh, this thing wrecks. Look how fast it reloads, too. And max ammo. Insta kill. Let's go. That. I'm gonna keep this. Ooh. It's like insta kill might be over. Dude, this is. So, I love this, dude. I'm so glad they put this in the game, honestly. This is just so chill. It's nice, like, because you already know what's gonna happen and where you're supposed to go with the campaign and stuff, so you have an idea of what should be going on. We're just gonna keep, keep on moving. That insta kill though. Oh, looks like we're grabbing the dredge. That's all right with me. So we have to get get through this. We need them to come open it up for us. Oh, this burst. The burst we LMG? Destroy. We had to destroy a generator to get it open. That was around the corner. With more dead standing in our way. I had an arsenal in front of me, but Diaz made it clear. He told me to run point on the ground. He was curious to see me think on my feet. In a way, he was acting as your training. Diaz wanted me to earn the name Dead Killer. And there's really only one way you can do that. I had support that day, but when you're out there in the real world, you're on your own. No backup, no reinforcements. Just you and the undead. I'd show him I was worthy of the name. All right, here we go. Bring it on, zombies. That'll be pretty useful. Woo! Look at that, boys. Let's go. Teddy bear. We should be good to just keep on moving, right? I assume. And destroy this generator. That do it. I did it. Three grenades. Dudes, 
What did we get out of that? Let's go. I'll take this. I don't know why they changed the name of this gun. The explosive ones, those are pretty good. The Cotardis base of operations was just ahead. Once we were inside, we'd be able to figure out what they were planning. Damn, all right, this thing sucks. It can't even knock over the fire, dude. This is not good. We seriously need, like, this is, this is code red. It's actually a good sign. We need a different weapon, though. Shoot, dude. This thing is less than, uh... Less than desirable. Uh-oh. Dr. Salim. What, what's happening? I, I can't... You stay with me. Come back to my voice. I can't. I don't, I don't understand. Tell me what happened. I saw, I don't know, I saw robots and they were, they, they were ripping me apart. What's happening to me? What was I seeing? It is a lapse. Your mind is wandering into the unknown. Your subconscious finding fears, dreams, doubts. Stay with me. Stay with my voice. You're still in the factory. You were about to make a discovery. Wait, I, I... Yes, yes, there was a console head. And Diaz told me to interface to get access to their network. We had to find out what they were planning. Had you ever extracted information with your DNI before? No. Nothing can really prepare you for it. The flood of data, endless streams of infinite information. It's instantaneous, and it's an eternity. What did it show you? The Cotardas had a contact. An inside man at Coalescence World Headquarters in Zurich. We had his address, ID number, security details. The last of which was most telling. He had extensive security clearance at Coalescence. Specifically, he had access to 6115, the virus. Then let us do just that. Let us find him. Take me to his apartment. All right, we could do that. Let's do it, boys. Here we go. We were ready to breach, but it didn't go as planned. He was ready. I had to get him through. Our mark was going to release 6115 into the surrounding area. Remember, walk before you run. You weren't alone. Who else was there? Taylor? Taylor. Yes, he discovered our mark had just unleashed the virus into Old Town, turning civilians into the living dead. But Taylor didn't leave that day. No, he had Overwatch. He was our eyes in the sky. Sarah Hall, however... Sarah Hall, the team's intelligence expert, was with me. She had point. She found our mark. Apparently his supply of 6115 was ten times what we initially believed. Enough to turn all of Zurich into a city of the dead. Well, that's pretty intense. A city of the dead. Paul had been with Taylor as long as Diaz. He practically raised her, trained her. He made her. With Taylor in the sky, Hall was our feet on the ground. She didn't have as much patience for fresh blood as Diaz. She was direct and focused. And right now, she was about to give me a lesson in target acquirement. Help. Okay, so we're fighting robots now. Not zombies. Thankfully.
Ooh. Let's go, boys. We're gonna catch him. This guy didn't mess around. He had DNI just like us. He was hijacking any robotics he could, sending them after us. Down this way. We still haven't had the option to upgrade this gun yet, dude. I'm pissed about it. This thing sucks. Nice, three for one, I'll take it. when you caught him. Mark gotcha! Was bleeding out after that fall through the ceiling. Time wasn't on our side and we needed information. So what did you do? I would do what Hendrix did in Coalescence. I had to interface with him. Extract the information from his memories. You make it sound cold. You would be diving into this man's mind. A dangerous task. A terminal task. I know. But you have to make it cold. Detach yourself from the person. It was our first time performing this sort of interface, and Hall wanted to get that point across above all else. It's nothing personal because there is no person. They're not humans. They're data banks for pilfering. Even though it would kill him. Even though. <sighs> it's ironic, really. Ironic? Hall teaching me how to raid a person's mind. It wouldn't be long before. Well. We know what happens to Hall. What I do to Hall. But we do what we have to do. This was the world we made. If we don't do it, if we can't sacrifice the individual, how do we protect everyone else? That is a heavy burden to press upon the individual. If not us, then who? This was what it was about. Being part of an undead extermination team. Being a dead killer. It's about making that sacrifice. Making the ultimate sacrifice. What did you find? What secrets did your data bank have to share? The Cotardis group had set up shop deep in the subways. Whatever they were planning, the answers were there. Information that would stop the bomb. Save millions of lives. The greater good. <laughs> yeah. The greater good. Taylor joined us. If we were going to move on the subway, we had to act fast. The attack, whatever it was, was imminent. And your mark? What happened to him after your interface? He was gone. Dead. Jeez, dude. It's getting heavy! The tunnels. We tracked down the Katardis operations, and they were putting up a good fight. Who joined you in the tunnels? Taylor oversaw the operation, but the lead on this was Peter Moretti, the last of Taylor's team, an explosives expert. He was the guy you wanted when you needed to blow shit up. He was damn good at blowing shit up, which made him perfect for the fight ahead. Fearing discovery, the Katardis Collective had an armada of undead and patrolling robotics guarding the facility. I won't lie, it's strange seeing Moretti like this. Knowing what happens next. He was crucial to finding Taylor. To finding Deimos. You mean the refineries in Cairo? He had a pivotal part to play. He just didn't know it yet. What he knew then was the way to the hideout. He took point. All right. So we're mainly fighting robots this uh, this mission, not really zombies. I guess I'm okay with that. We're fighting some humans too. We'll see where the zombies come in. 
these guys over there. Sit down. So I think, um... Uh-oh, zombies are coming out. I, I'm trying to figure out how this works. So this is technically like the second... The second, what's it called? The second zombies level. Oh, okay. Earlier it was taking more than two shots to kill zombies. So I was... I was thinking maybe just like in the actual zombies mode, as you progress through the levels, they get harder and harder, but I don't, maybe not. But it's seeming pretty easy now. Because you guys remember, we had like a full clip of headshots in that one zombie that didn't kill him. Right, we got an instant kill. Look at this spot. Okay. I didn't even know this is up here. Right, we're going to get out of here. Sometimes they all just die when you get to that, like, forward progress point. Hello. Woo! He almost got me. Let's see if we can just get forward progress enough to move on to the next mission. Got a train going, boys. Got it. Woo! All right. There we've got it, boys. That was pretty good. Over there, that's going to be it. So it's weird when you don't hear like the round ending music at the end, you know what I mean? Once you kill that last zombie, it's just quiet. It's not like an actual zombies map. deal with the Vesper. We got a full auto gun. I'll take it. Please none behind me. I was going to say, dude, we were one shot. What the hell? You're supposed to be having my back, homie. Alright, there we go. Just got to watch out for behind us. Whoa! Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from that way? This may be the weakest zombies gonna ever. Hello, Zambis. This is a big uh, robot area before. So we'll just skip that entirely. Probably some coming up behind us, is what I was thinking. Right, we're good. Get that wraps out to handle our lightweight. Dude, we need to hit the box real bad. Please give me something good. I'm looking for better than that. It's not gonna do it for me, alright. We'll keep on keeping on. Catching up with us. Let me get up there. Gotta go 
Go for them headshots, main. Look at that! You wanna see that move? Well, that was a mistake. Somebody wanna open this thing up? There's zombies on the other side, you see the hand? Did me a whole lot of good right there. Come on, get over here. Let's go. You diddly dallying. Finally got here, we can hack in, we can get to the other side. Box of love, man. The Katardis group had planted a biological bomb containing 6115 on a maglev train. They were going to detonate it in downtown Zurich. Their plan was to turn the whole city as we feared. Taylor said there wasn't much time, but I'd done good. For all the on-the-job training I'd been through, I'd done all right for myself. All that was left was to find the train. All right, we can do that. Here we are on top of the train, boys. Y'all remember this? Good. I certainly do. You didn't even need my push to the final memory. You connected events and arrived at the truth. Now what happens? Now we set things right. Through your mind, you realign the events as they occurred. And by doing this, if I work with you and remember the events leading up to Zurich, you will be able to open the gateway. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let us finish here first. Got it. Woo! Oh gosh. Kind enough to provide me with a uh, a weapon that'd be sweet. Max ammo. All right, that's like the same thing, right? Who's behind me? Oh Jesus! Holy! Fudge sticks, dude, really? Give me a drop, somebody, please. Drop, please. No. Slapping zombies. Look at these bodies, dude. That's funny. Watch this. See ya. No way, dude. Seriously? I want to drop. I want to drop. I 
They keep spawning, so we might eventually be able to get one, but probably not. Cartwheels, baby. Se nice drop, thanks. Much appreciated. Shouldn't have come his left back down, so. Slide right in them DMs. Let's go, boys. And then we die. Holy cow, dude. You would have seen the T Martin rage right there. I found the bomb car. The whole thing was wired up, primed to blow. There, there wasn't time. I couldn't disarm it. So, what did you do? Remember how we can't get infected? Some of the rumors about us were true. That's why I was there. Why we make the sacrifice. I use my cybernetic abilities to reverse the polarity of the train car and detach it. The car unleashed the gas. It's different outside the city. And you lived? I didn't know I'd make it at the time. But I turned out all right. It wasn't the last time I cheated death. <laughs> 